Hello, my name is Chris Sell, and I'm the Greater Rutland County Supervisor Union Superintendent. I welcome you to the Wells Springs Unified Union School District budget presentation. If you have any questions about our presentation, please contact Louis Malazzo, GRCSU Business Manager, or myself. We'll be happy to answer any questions you have. If we cannot answer your question, we will direct you to someone who can. On behalf of the Wells Springs Unified Union School District and the GRCSU, we are grateful for your continued involvement and support of the GRCSU and our school communities. The GRCSU serves four school districts, Iris School District, Cory Valley Unified Union School District, Rutland Town School District, and the Wells Springs Unified Union School District. Our eight schools include Middletown Springs Elementary School, Pulteney Elementary School, Pulteney High School, Proctor Elementary School, Proctor Junior Senior High School, Rutland Town School, Wells Village School, and the West Rutland School, with a total student population of approximately 1,600 students across grades pre-K through 12. The GRCSU Central Office oversees all aspects of the operation of the schools, including curriculum oversight, professional development, supervision evaluation, human resources management, policies and procedures, grants, as well as all financial aspects of the schools and districts. Lisa Madison, GRCSU's Assistant Superintendent, oversees curriculum, instruction, assessment, professional development, academic grants, and teacher mentoring. The GRCSU Business Office, headed by Louis Malazzo, is responsible for purchasing, contracted services, payroll, bill payment, developing and monitoring budgets, overseeing all grant money, and working with auditors to ensure our financial practices are sound. GRCSU Student Support Services, which includes special education, is headed by William Basic and includes all special education administrators, teachers, paraeducators, psychologists, physical therapists, occupational therapists, and speech, speech and pre-K coordination. Lastly, Greg Connors heads the GRCSU's Information Technology Department, which is responsible for maintaining all of our schools, districts, and SU technology. The Wells Springs Unified Union School District is a pre-K through sixth grade district containing two excellent schools, Middletown Springs Elementary and the Wells Village School. The Wells Springs Unified Union School District has a total student enrollment of 137 students. Middletown Springs Elementary, uh, Middletown Springs Elementary School student enrollment is 61 students and a Wells Village School student enrollment is 76 students. The Wells Springs School Board includes three members from Middletown Springs, three from Wells Village, and one at-large member. Eric Mount Bryan chairs the Wells Springs Board, Meredith Morgan serves as the vice chair, and Cara Haynes is the Wells Springs clerk. In the summer of 2023, our GRCSU schools again extended their offerings to provide a rich student learning experiences and programs, fostering collaboration and skill development. These diverse experiences and programs focusing on academic, social, and emotional growth proved immensely popular. In response to the continued high demand and the availability of additional federal ESSER funds, our GRCSU schools are excited to announce the continuation of these enriching summer programs for the summer of 2024. Further details on GRCSU and Wells Springs summer programming will be available later this spring. Additionally, the GRCSU proudly unveiled its 2023 to 2028 strategic plan this past fall. As our guiding North Star, this comprehensive five-year plan allows us to prioritize SU and school-based initiatives and allocate resources efficiently and effectively. This plan ensures that we not only set SU goals, but also develop a set of measures to monitor our progress toward achieving these goals and make necessary adjustments. Our strategic plan embodies a collective vision for our students, staff, and SU, focusing on three key priority areas. Academic success, improved school climate and culture, and community engagement and communication. These GRCSU priority areas drive our commitment to providing equitable, high quality education in every classroom and school, supporting students academically, socially, and emotionally. The plan represents a dedication to a transformative and inclusive educational experience for each and every GRCSU student. Crafting the strategic plan involved a meticulous process, gathering input from all stakeholders, and building upon the GRCSU portrait of graduates completed in June 2022. The strategic plan design team, consisting of representatives from our communities and schools, engaged in a collaborative process over four meetings during the 2022 
2023 school year. Led by Jessica Harding of Mattel for Kids, the team reviewed the GRCSE's ports of graduate and stakeholder feedback, conducted a strengths, weaknesses, opportunities, and threats analysis of the GRCSU, identified vital priority areas based on stakeholder feedback, provided input and feedback on draft objectives and goals. Finally, the GRCSU administrative team synthesized the design team's work to create the 2023-2028 GRCSU strategic plan, which is shared with and approved by the GRCSU school board at their June 2023 regular board meeting. A copy of this plan can be found on our website. In addition to the work outlined above, the Wells Springs and GRCSU boards is interested in deepening our collaboration with our stakeholders to improve the quality of our schools so that each of our students has access to a high quality education that ultimately prepares them for whichever path they choose in life. Together, we can create an educational environment that nurtures excellence, inclusivity, and compassion ensuring each and every student is prepared to thrive in an ever-changing world. If you want to hear more about this work or take a more active role in the process, please contact your local building principal or attend a local school board meeting. Lastly, we sincerely thank our school board members for their hard work, not just on our budgets, but for their contributions to our, all of our schools and communities over the year. Their guidance and leadership have played a pivotal role in shaping a positive and enriching environment for our students, educators, and administrators. As ESSER funds expire across the state of Vermont, other school districts and supervisory unions find themselves in a unique position where paying for many ESSER funded programs and positions is moving to their local taxpayer supported budgets. However, the GRCSU and Wells Springs boards, through the collective ex efforts of our school board, administrators, and staff members, has successfully navigated this transition and does not place this financial burden on our taxpayers. Our boards are committed to being fiscally responsible while doing what is best for our students, a delicate balancing act. Please remember, please remember to vote on town meeting day, March 5th, 2024. For information, visit our website at www.grcsu.org, call 802-775-4342, or email us at your convenience. I would now like to turn the presentation over to Corey Smith and Carol Winkowski, our building administrators for Middletown Springs Elementary School and the Wells Village School. Thank you. This is Corey Smith, principal of Middletown Springs Elementary School. And this is Carol Winkowski, principal at Wells Village School. We are thrilled to be sharing initiatives that are happening in our schools. The learning-centered instruction model focuses on meeting the needs of academics through different tools for all students. Last year, the GRCSU implemented Multi-Tiered Systems of Supports, or MTSS. MTSS is a systemic approach to decision-making with the goal of improving outcomes for all students. It supports the collaboration of schools and families to meet academic, behavioral, and social-emotional needs of all students by creating a layered system of high-quality, evidence-based instruction, intervention, and assessment practices that are matched to students' strengths and needs. One important component of MTSS is the Educational Support Team, or EST. Each school continues to have a team of individuals who meet on a weekly basis to discuss data growth, interventions, and any other needs or concerns that are brought up by teachers or parents. PBIS, or Positive Behavior Intervention Systems, continue to provide a school-wide approach to developing a positive culture. Students and staff work together to reach goals through positive interactions and teamwork. Restorative practices has been a focus at both of the Wells Springs schools. Restorative practices provides a structure for students to learn how to work together by rebuilding relationships through respectful conversations and understanding each other's points of view. A group of teachers from Wells and Middletown spent several days over the summer working with a consultant to deepen their understanding and sharpen their practice to better support students with this work. Middletown Springs and Wells Village School have a shared athletic director. Students in kindergarten through sixth grade have the opportunity to participate in soccer in the fall and basketball in the winter. Students at Middletown Springs also have the option of joining the rock climbing team in the winter and spring. Students at both schools participate in girls on the run and velocity, as well as winter sports, such as skiing, snowboarding, and skating. Student leadership is valued and vital to the development of our students. Both schools have a student council with representatives that meet regularly and discuss what they feel are positives and concerns within the school. 
Then they work on solutions and strategies for making the school a better place for all. Both Middletown and Wells continue to partner with Up for Learning. Middletown Springs students in grades five and six and Wells Village students in grade four work closely with a representative from Up for Learning to discuss the culture and climate of each of the school buildings and then work to create opportunities to improve the culture and climate. Both schools have continued with the Healthy Foods program. This is an ideal way for us to work with many aspects of our community, allowing us to bring healthy eating options from local farmers and vendors into the schools. One of the most exciting parts of this initiative is the harvest of the month, which allows students to learn about different foods, which they get to taste test. Both of our schools offer an after school single skills program. These programs are available to students in grades pre-K through six. During the after school program, students get to go outside to play, have a nutritious snack and participate in a planned activity that focuses on a specific skill such as yo-yoing. Our summer school programs are designed to support students with opportunities to sustain their learning throughout the summer break. Students participate in activities and lessons that focus on academics and social development. We are fortunate to have many community partners that work with our schools. Some of these partners are the Modern Woodman Association, Friends for Education, the local PTO, and Rutland Mental Health, as well as other lo our local libraries. All administrators in the GRCSU are working with Washington University's Center for Educational Leadership. This partnership provides us with invaluable resources for collegial support. This professional development has us working with our colleagues around the SU to develop a vision of student experience and learning for our schools, as well as opportunities to improve our supervision and evaluation process practices. Social emotional learning is vital to developing the whole child. Each of our schools offer time for the school counselor to go into the classrooms and deliver lessons on social emotional skills. We're very aware of the importance of this piece of student growth and our school counselors provide support not only to our students, but to our families and our staff. There are many ways that technology supports our students in their daily learning and development. Students use programs such as Freckle, Lexia, Dreambox, Extra Math, and Khan Academy to enrich students' education. Teachers are available to assign and modern, monitor students in a way that is appropriate for their learning levels. We have officially made the switch to FastBridge as our student screening assessment after piloting the program last year. FastBridge allows teachers to assess students and identify areas of strength and areas of need. FastBridge also provides teachers with suggested interventions for identified areas of need as well as a way to monitor progress. Information collected from FastBridge is used to make informed decisions to support students through our EST process. Teachers and administrators at both schools continue to expand their knowledge base by participating in trainings throughout the year. Many of our staff have been trained in crisis prevention interventions, or CPI, and restorative practices. Our kindergarten teachers and interventionists are being trained in UFLY Foundations, an explicit and systematic program that teaches students the foundational skills necessary for proficient reading. We are excited that we're in our second year of being able to offer instrumental music lessons. Students have the opportunity to choose an instrument of interest and they receive direct instruction from our music teacher. Families are an important part of our school community and we remain committed to providing opportunities to bring the community together. This year, we have scheduled self several joint activities hosted by both of our schools. We hosted a family game night at Middletown, a parent's afternoon out where families could drop their children off at Wells, giving them the opportunity to finish up some holiday shopping, and a family portrait and breakfast morning at Wells. Upcoming events include a Let's Glow reading night, a knockout tournament, and a family talent show. Middletown Springs is once again partnering with VINS, the Vermont Institute of Natural Science. VINS visits each classroom, pre-K through sixth grade, three times and delivers a lesson on a grade level topic. Our oldest students in fifth and sixth grade participate in the science symposium, giving them the opportunity to complete scientific research, design solutions to solve a local problem, and present their findings at a symposium held at VINS. We want to thank you for continuing to support our schools. Please reach out to Corey or Carol if you have any questions. Hello, this is Louis Malazzo. I'm the business manager for the Greater Rutland County Supervisory Unit. On behalf of the Wellsprings Board, I will be reviewing the fiscal year 2025 school district budget. 
This year, we were once again faced with new challenges when developing the school budget. There are many factors that both directly and indirectly impact the budget and tax rates that the school board and administration have no control over. Some of the main factors directly impacting the budget this year include a 16.4% increase in employee health care benefits, as well as inflationary increases in staff wages and other budgeted costs. The increases in spending are being partially offset by a prior year surplus, which the board is proposing to use 50% to offset fiscal year 25 spending, and the other 50% to transfer to a capital improvement reserve fund, which will be listed as a separate article on the ballot. There are three components of the tax rate calculation which are decided at the state level and for which the local school board has no control over. These three components are pupil weighting, state tax yield, and the common level of appraisal, also referred to as CLA. These three factors can have significant impacts on your local tax rate. Act 127, which starts with next year's budget, completely redesigns pupil weighting which is impacting the tax rate for many districts across the state. High poverty towns are seeing funding increases and low poverty towns are being hit with funding decreases. To help those districts that are losing funding, the law does have safeguards in place to limit the tax rate increase to 5% prior to the CLA adjustment. This transition period will be in place through fiscal year 2029 budget year. This portion of Act 127 is not having a significant impact on Well Springs. The state tax yield, which is the second state level component, is an amount that is decided by the state legislators. In the past, this bill is approved after town meeting day. Increases in the yield lower local taxes. There are many factors that impact the yield and there is a lot of speculation on what this number may be. Our best estimate at this time is to use the tax commission's recommendation that was provided on December 1st. The final state component is the common level of appraisal adjustment, also known as CLA. CLA compares the fair market value of your home to the assessed value of your home. When the two are equal, CLA is at 100%. As the fair market value rises above the assessed value, the CLA percentage drops resulting in an increase in your tax rate. Many towns across Vermont are seeing large decreases in CLA over the last few years, requiring some towns to have town-wide reappraisals. This year, Middletown Springs CLA is seeing a much smaller decrease than most Vermont towns, with only a 3.26% decrease to a CLA of 82.88%. Wells, due to a recent reappraisal, has a CLA that increased by 29.77% from last year, to a CLA of 107.76. This is resulting in a significant decrease in local taxes. The fiscal year 25 proposed expense budget is $6,043,373, an increase of 4.5%. Total education spending, which is total expense minus local revenues, is up by 6.88%. Approximately half of this increase is a result of Act 127 changing the way districts receive the Small Schools Grant. The law eliminates the grant revenue, thus increasing education spending, and instead increases Well Springs' weighted pupil count. The net impact to this, this change is lowering Well Springs' tax rate by approximately three cents. Based on Well Springs' proposed spending for fiscal year 25, as well as the Act 127 pupil weighting and recommended tax yield, it is estimated that the local tax rate prior to CLA adjustment will be $1.26, a 5% decrease from the prior year. The final step in the calculation of the tax rate is to apply each town's common level of appraisal adjustment. The tax rate for Middletown Springs after the CLA adjustment is $1.53, a three cent decrease from last year. The tax rate for Wells after the CLA adjustment is $1.18. Due to Wells reappraisal, the tax rate has decreased 43 cents, but homes assessed value are 29.77% higher, which on average should generate a similar amount in taxes on a townwide basis. 
The graph in this diagram shows the tax rate for Wells and Middletown Springs over the last six years. As you can see, over the last three prior years, Wells Springs has managed to keep tax rates stable with a decrease in the most recent year. More detailed information on the Wells Springs budget can be found on, on our website or in the annual report. <clears throat> the annual report can be found in your town's library, town office, school, or post office. There is a QR code at the end of this presentation that can direct you to our website. Thank you for your support of the Wells Springs budget.